Hello my dear students. Today we are going to talk about physical significance and interpretation of phase velocity and group velocity of matter waves. Let's take a brief recap. If you remember we have already discussed that the wave associated with every particle is called a matter wave and it has two velocities associated to it namely phase velocity Vp and group velocity Vg. I would also like to remind you that this matter wave that we are discussing is always associated to a particle which is in motion which means which is moving with a velocity which is finite or is much less than the velocity of light. The mathematical expression for phase velocity of Vp is given by omega by k and group velocity by d omega dk. Here Please remember that omega is the angular frequency associated to the wave which can be written as 2 pi into the frequency or 2 pi by the time period and k is the wave vector 2 pi by lambda where lambda is the wavelength of this particular wave that we are talking about. Then the, the question which arises is what is the physical significance of these quantities phase velocity and group velocity and how are these related to the particle's own velocity. So let us see what we can derive mathematically. As we have already talked Vp is equal to omega by k and Vg is equal to d omega dk. Now let us do a little bit of mathematics. We will begin with the first expression of phase velocity which is equal to omega by k. What we have done in this step is we have multiplied the numerator as well as denominator with h cut. Reminding all of you h cut is h by 2 pi. However, now let us look into this particular quantity h cut omega. If I write it explicitly h cut omega is h omega by 2 pi and omega by 2 pi is nothing but the frequency. Hence we get the product of h into nu which is nothing but the energy of the particle. Also, h cut k is shown to be just the momentum of the particle itself. Hence, what we are receiving here is phase velocity is, no, is not only omega by k, but it is also the ratio of the energy and momentum. Following the same line, we can write that the group velocity is not only d omega dk, but dedp. So now we know that group velocity is dE dp. What we are now seeing is the total energy of a relativistic particle. If you differentiate both sides, you get the expression to be like this. Twice E dE is equal to C square into twice P, which we are getting by differentiating the first term. The second term m0 square c to the power 4 obviously is a constant so does not give us any value after differentiating. So from here we can derive the value of dedp which you can see here is nothing but the velocity v which is the velocity of the particle and hence we are having a relation between the group velocity and the velocity of the particle itself. As you can see here Group velocity associated to the matter wave is exactly equal to the velocity with which the particle itself is moving. So now can you understand the physical significance of the group velocity? This group velocity of the matter wave which is nothing but the velocity with which the wave packet is traveling is exactly equal to the velocity with which the particle itself is moving. But then what about phase velocity then? Let us go back to the expression Vp is equal to E by P which we have already derived in the earlier slide. Considering Einstein's energy mass equivalence expression, Vp is coming out to be mc square by mv where mc square has been put in, in place of energy and P has been replaced by m into V. So from this expression we can see that phase velocity is c square by V. Now we could write this c square by v as a product of c and c by v. Now since the quantity v or the velocity of the particle 
is always less than the velocity of light, this ratio c by v is always greater than 1. And hence, phase velocity is seen to be greater than the velocity of light. Is it a bit confusing for all of us? Since from special theory of relativity, we all know that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. But here we can clearly see that phase velocity is greater than c. So how can we explain this? Please remember here that no matter can travel with velocity higher than that of light. This is what we actually get from the special theory of relativity. However, here phase velocity being greater than c is not violating the special theory of relativity since no matter is moving with the velocity higher than c. Rather, what is moving with velocity higher than c? It is actually the phase associated with the wave, which means phase velocity is actually the velocity with which the phase associated with the matter wave actually changes. And the matter associated with this entire problem is actually moving with velocity vg, group velocity and group velocity is equal to the particle's own velocity which is much less than c. Hence, there is no violation of the special theory of relativity. Now, let's go back to the relation vp is equal to c square by v once again. We have already known that velocity of the particle is exactly equal to the group velocity. So, if I replace the velocity in this earlier equation with vg, I may derive a new relationship between the phase velocity and group velocity, which we are seeing here as vp into vg is equal to c square, which means the product of the phase velocity and group velocity is equal to square of the velocity of light. If you remember, we had already derived another relationship between group velocity and phase velocity earlier. Just look into this equation once again. So, on this screen now, you are able to see two different relationships between the group and phase velocity. And we may use any one of them as per our requirement to solve any numerical problem or to derive as per our question paper asks us. So, summarizing the entire presentation, we have talked about group velocity, phase velocity, and the velocity of the particle. And what is the relation between all of these? Group velocity is the velocity with which the wave packet moves and that is exactly equal to the particle's own velocity. However, phase velocity is much larger and it is the velocity of the phase change of the matter wave. That's all for today. See you soon in the next video.